Shut up and bring on the next comedian. Yes. 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 That's not the right answer. We can't say. Yes. I need. A, I need an answer. All right. Who's next? Oh yes. Next we have something very very special. All right. I need you to really put your hands together for this guy. Are you ready to welcome to the stage your next comedian? Yes. Yes. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Willy Vortel. Clean up through your shit, please, Sharon. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> my Dutch name is Willy Wartel, as you have just heard. And you are probably wondering, why am I dressed like this? <laughs> well, like many of you, I'm trying to integrate. <laughs> <laughs> the first time that I arrived in the Netherlands, ah, by the way, how many Dutch people do we have here? One, okay. two, so please, can you stand up? Can you please stand up? Yeah, I know it's difficult. Anyway, okay, no, stay there, everyone. This is how a Dutch girl looks like. You don't need to go to there. And you also are Dutch. If you ask me to stand up, I'm going to punch you. Anyway, I have a secret to share with you. Please. In case you want to be to look more Dutch, like me, of <laughs> uh, I learned this trick from a very famous Dutch politician. So this very famous Dutch politician, of which I won't say the name, so if you don't follow Dutch politics, you are fucked up, you won't understand anything now. <laughs> this very famous Dutch politician also wears a blonde wig. <laughs> really? And for him, it worked so well, because he was able to integrate such a level that he became a Dutch nationalist, almost <laughs> racist, <laughs> and he's coming from Limburg. So if he was able to integrate in Amsterdam from Limburg, I would say this could work also for me. <laughs> anyway, I thought that um, only the clothes weren't enough to be really Dutch. No, I don't think that only the clothes make you Dutch enough. So, from the country from which I come uh, for, uh, f uh, from, we have a very famous way of saying that it is Yawihi! <laughs> no one says this to me? Yawihi! <laughs> now, do you know what does it mean? <laughs> Yawihi? <laughs> yeah, but yes. are, are, you, are, are you sleeping or are you alive? <laughs> Oh, okay, she's laughing, she's not dead. <laughs> I have no idea. Yaoi, you are what you. He? <laughs> he? <laughs> you are what you eat! Come on, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that? Yeah. You are what you eat. Yeah. I think you're eating too many bitter bowling. <laughs> <laughs> But, don't be desperate, there are solutions. <laughs> so I tried also as well to eat as much orange things as possible. Why orange? Of course, we are in the Netherlands, everything is orange. So I started, of course, with oranges, pumpkins, tamarind, kibbling, oil ballen, bitter ballen. But no way, I got a lot of weight, <laughs> but I didn't get any dutcher than this. So I started to think, why? Why? I really need to do something here. So I did some... Uh, I studied, I studied a little the history of the Netherlands. And I found out that actually the color orange is not connected at all with being Dutch. <laughs> yeah, it is strange, but it is not connected at all. What connects the orange and the Dutch is the House of Dorange. Do you know the House of Dorange? Yeah. No, thank you. Please, some help. Oh, guys, if you want to integrate in this society, you really need to do your own work. So, in the 1700s, there was, the year, there was uh, the kings and queens of the house of Dorange. And the Dutch, in order to celebrate the, uh, the Orange king, decided, don't ask me why, they are Dutch. <laughs> 
just to uh, grow and cultivate one orange vegetable. <laughs> Anyone here knows which orange vegetables now has conquered our lives and we cannot live without it? Water. 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 Okay, you know, uh, here there are only two Dutch. <laughs> and it told me water. <laughs> For everyone else, carrots. <laughs> so, I thought, if the color doesn't matter, why they did choose the carrots? So, I found out that the king actually was kind of a big deal at that time. And carrots in the 1700s were big, strong, and thick. So, they were representing the king. Very wet. <laughs> in the supermarkets today, instead of the carrots, a little bit smaller. <laughs> Probably because the king is not such a big deal. <laughs> and I don't know if you noticed, but they also sell baby carrots. <laughs> what does this say about the king? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you, please, thank you, and it's a pose, no? So, anyway, <laughs> what they find out is that actually uh, carrots in nature are coming in many different colors. They're coming white, yellow, purple, not only orange. So, I'm here asking, why are we accepting this racial discrimination of carrots? Why should we have only orange carrots? I really don't understand. Why I can't have a purple carrot? A purple carrot now, you can buy that. Many people before came to me, but to be a, you have to be a Willy Horton. <laughs> you, should, you should know that you can buy purple carrots. A Teco Plaza. I don't know if you ever enter a Teco Plaza, but I never, I don't have money enough, not even to make a step inside that club. So how am I supposed to buy purple carrots? You know, with which kind of money? And how can I grow my purple carrots? You know, I cannot grow my purple carrots if I cannot get the first one. So this doesn't make any sense. Please, please, help me with this, because I really don't understand why we should have only orange carrots. <laughs> But I'm quite pissed with the supermarket, you know? Because this is not all. It is not all, of course. Can I ask you a question? How long have you lived here? Three years. Three years. So you buy groceries sometimes or always twist the door? Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Do you buy vegetables? And fruit? Sorry? Yeah. Yes, yes, okay, no. I changed my purpose. Do you buy fruit here? In, no, I'm joking. Do you buy fruit here? Yeah. How many kind of grapes? Please, a little bit of attention. Particularly to you, how many kind of grapes can you buy in your favorite supermarket? But he will give your answer. <laughs> two? Two. Which kind of grapes can you buy in your favorite supermarket? He said two, so you have to say the kind. Yeah, I think two or three. Oh, come on, I say the kind, not the number. Are you listening to me? My dear, please. Which kind? Bright and dark. That's it. Three White and dark. Okay. <laughs> How old are you? Four? That's called the kind of grapes by color? <laughs> so both! Because I think you know that. How many kind of grapes exist in nature? Uh, four thousand. Okay, he's a son. I saw that he was a real expert about this. Let me, let me tell you. you can, uh, sorry, so you, you were near. Nearer than two, of course. <laughs> so you can, in nature, exist at least ten thousand kind of grapes. Okay, yes, please, Woo! For, for the 10,000 kind of grapes. And you know, at the Albert Time, how many kind of wines can you buy? You, can you can, give me a number, please, a number. <laughs> Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Wow, wait, that's, that's a big supermarket. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking big supermarket. I was hoping for 50, 100, uh, you know. But even 300 is okay. So what's happening now is, is exactly this, and I completely lost control of the time. I have no idea if I spoke for one minute or fifteen or one hour. But that doesn't matter. Two left. Two left. Okay. So, um, 
This was a sneaky way. I had to get a suggestion, guys. He's gonna close. It wasn't great. So uh, I was saying uh, about okay, we are meeting in a city in which it is possible to buy one ki 100 kind of wines, 200 kind of weed with special effects of every kind, and only two kind of grapes <laughs> and one color of carrots, orange. This doesn't make any sense. Why are we accepting this? I really, I really don't understand. So. There are many experts here with me. <laughs> and we are living in a diverse and multicultural society. No, isn't it? We only have two Dutch here. No one, no one else is Dutch. So I am right. There are, if we were all carrots, do you know how many ca orange carrots there would be? Two. Exactly. Like the grapes. You know? So give back to the Dutch what they give us. Eh? So I need your help. Tomorrow morning, Okay, please go to your favorite supermarket and ask to call with the manager. And go with the manager to call the owner of the franchise of the supermarket. And ask, actually pretend a promise that they will, um, they will provide all the supermarkets with a selection of carrots that uh, correctly represent the multi-diverse and diverse uh, culture of Amsterdam and the Netherlands. So we want, yes, yes, give it to you. We want carrots of every color. We want a fucking carrot rainbow. What we want? Yeah. A carrot rainbow. What we want? A carrot rainbow. We want 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 a carrot rainbow. Thank you. Tomorrow go to the Give it up for Billy Bortle. Okay. Not finished. No, no.